This is the question show the effect of the following transactions on the accounting equations. There are five transactions and the name of the person doing the business is not given. Hence we will draw the format accounting equation of a dash dash serial number transactions asset is equal to capital plus liabilities. Here the first thing will be, we will be writing the assets and liabilities, say cash, prepaid expenses, capital and outstanding expenses. Four things are there because wages outstanding is there, rent paid in advance is there and there is one prepaid and one is outstanding expenses. And after writing the rupee symbol, we can start with first transaction that is one started business with cash rupees 50,000 that is started business hence cash in the left hand side cash has come under the head assets and capital has come under the head capital rupees 50,000 is equal to rupees 50,000 then second transaction salary is paid it is an expenditure salary is paid is an expenditure cash will go down and capital will go down because we are paying means we have to reduce cash and our capital will reduce with the payment of expenditure and will increase with income. Hence salaries is an expenditure will reduce from cash as well as from capital. The new equation will be 48,000 in case of a cash and capital will be 48,000. Third one, third one is wages outstanding rupees 200, wages outstanding third. It is an expenditure and has not been paid, only it will be done in the liability side, wages outstanding, nothing happening no change in cash but it is an expenditure hence our capital will be reduced and our outstanding expenses say outstanding wages or you can commonly say outstanding expenses increased by 200 and then the new equation will be 48,000 is equal to rupees 47,800 plus 200. Then the fourth one, interest due but not paid 100, same thing, outstanding interest, that is outstanding interest, no change in cash balance, but capital will be reduced by rupees 100 due to expenditure and our outstanding expenses will increase. The next one will be the new equation, 48,000 is equal to rupees 47,700 plus 300. Then fifth one, rent paid in advance, it is an asset, we have not spent it, we have paid it, hence it will be reduced from cash and will be added to advance expenses or prepaid expenses both in the asset side. Fifth one, rent paid in advance minus from cash rupees 150 add to prepaid expenses rupees 150, that is equal to zero. Hence, new equation will be rupees 47,850 plus 150 is equal to rupees 47,700 plus 300 and this is the final answer.